Okay guys, so get this. Russ is confident in his work after years rapping, singing, producing, and generally doing things his own way. And he doesn't hold back on letting his 3.4 million Instagram followers know. During a recent Instagram live session, Russ boldly put himself and Drake in a league of their own. There's one rapper who can fuck me and it's Drake. That's it. That's it. Name me. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. No rapper can give you losing control, MVP, and also best on earth. Except Drake. And then the difference is... I'm, I make, uh, you know, I produce this shit. So that's, that's a whole new level. Just so his comments didn't get misconstrued, Russ later clarified what he originally said on a post from DJ Academics. Never said nothing about best, he said. Was talking more so about ability and versatility. And then yeah, also producing some songs. Drake's the GOAT though, duh, lol. Also, you're supposed to think you're great, lol. If more people have my confidence, more people might get what they want out of life too. Russ spoke on the topic of streaming platforms, blackballing artists in September, following academics discussion about Tory Lanez and Takashi 6 9 Being blackballed by DSPs would mean your music is just simply not even on the platforms at all, Russ wrote. You don't need playlists to let your fans know you dropped music. That's what your social media with millions of followers is for, lol. How is not getting on editorial opinion-based playlists but still being able to be on the actual platform itself blackballed? Ack argued 60 to 70% of artists' streams come from playlisting, but Russ claimed 70% came from his profile and listeners' own playlists, 28% from Spotify playlists, and 2% other. In June, Russ revealed his financial records from music between 2013 and 2017 in order to show artists the importance of owning their releases. For inspirational purposes, he said, my come up, ownership, ups and downs is all part of the journey, stick with it. The big dip in fall of 2016 is when I partnered and moved my main earners over to Columbia because I wanted them on my debut album. I stopped it at 2017 because I don't need y'all fully in my pockets like that, but also every dollar on this I kept, except taxes. Because as some have liked to laugh at, I produced, mixed, mastered, engineered, and wrote all of this. I've been laughing the whole time. But what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.